is so as you can see we put in the coconut core uh, i'll show you the process of how to make it go from a brick to some really good medium for growing uh in another part of the video yeah what oh yeah yeah okay <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you guys liked that intro. We were just having a little bit of fun in the beginning. Want to make a quick video on us working on our bed. Now this is going to be strictly a tomato bed. Uh, so what we wanted to do is add a little bit of compost with worm castings. Also wanted to experiment with the sea compost. So we thought we'd throw in two bags of this as well. So in addition to the compost, we also added in coconut corn as well as potting soil. And we mix that all in together. This year, we wanted to experiment with a couple different tomato plants, and you can see us spacing them out evenly. Now this is our second year growing tomatoes, but what we found works best is to actually bury them very deep. So you can see us picking off the suckers and the lower leaves just to help with the growth. Now this does look like torture, but I assure you this is the best way to plant tomatoes. Now you can see us using our nail to snap off the lower leaves. And what you want to do is you want to bury the plant about 12 to 18 inches deep. Tomatoes are very resilient, so what they'll start doing is start growing roots right up to where you bury them. Now once you're happy with the depth, what you want to do is add in your minerals. In our case, we used iron earth. So we added a scoop to the hole. So there's a couple slow motion action shots for you guys, but what you want to ensure is you bury this nice and deep. And at the end, you want to create a mound around the tomato plant and make sure that there's no foliage hitting your dirt. Now, if you don't want to use your fingers to rip off these stems, you can definitely use scissors. Just be careful because you do not want to cut off too many, but you want to ensure you're burying these nice and deep and at the same time, leave enough foliage for the plant to survive. After you're done planting all your tomatoes, there's just one thing left to do, and that's just to water them. Make sure you give them a nice deep soak. Plants will thank you. Thanks for watching everybody. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it and we'll keep you posted on our tomato plants.